Hello, my dear students. Uh, firstly, I want to congratulate you all, uh, all those who have enrolled in my free courses. So there are a lot of free courses of mine on the Udemy platform. And if you have taken it on my app, you can see I've given all these free courses. I cannot completely keep it zero. So that is why one rupee I'm going to charge for this, right? Now, after going through all my courses, just in case if you're feeling like you want to learn the entire course, I'm going to give you a complete uh, overview of all my eight courses on the Udemy platform. I'm going to show you everything, whatever you're going to learn and also the course reviews. So this video will go for another like 15 or 20 minutes. So just stay till the end of the lecture and try to see what all things you're going to get from the entire course. So if you go to the Udemy, right? So, and if you just type Akshay Kamar, so all the courses which comes, uh, they all belong to me. You can see my construction methodology course, which is a bestseller on the Udemy having 4.4 star rating. Then if you want to learn quantity estimation, bar bending schedule, BBS, Okay, then I have a course. Again, it's a 21 hours of a content for 4.5 star rating and this is also a bestseller. Uh, if you want to take an internship course, you can take this as an internship course, uh, which is a 46 hours of a total content having 4.5 star on rating. And then I have a course on a drawing reading where I have taken four, five to six different structural drawings. And I've explained you how to read the structural drawings, the concepts and all. Then there's a course completely on the concrete technology for around 21 hours. Again, it's a bestseller on the Udemy having 4.5 star rating. And then the new course, which I had launched, that is on the interview preparation, where I've covered a lot of technical questions and you will be in a position to clear the interview after going through this course. And of course, we should have a certain fundamentals, right? Then there's a course on basic project planning. There's a course on ETAPs. And then there is a course on diploma in basics of civil engineering for construction, right? So you can go anywhere, even if you type uh, construction courses on Udemy, let me do it, right? So the moment you hit construction courses, so you can see the uh, almost, yeah, the fourth course, which appears on the Udemy belongs to me. So that is the quality of content I have. And all these are the best seller on the Udemy. Now coming to the main part, see, I'll give you a brief introduction about what all you are going to learn. So coming to the construction methodology course, it's a site engineer course. Recently I've uploaded the entire course. It's almost 42 hours of a content where you're going to get the knowledge right from the basics to the entire slab casting, how it has to be done, the interiors and everything I've covered it here. So you can see how many students have enrolled so far. Almost 3,095 students have enrolled. I have students from 175 countries and we got a 4.4 star rating, having 505 ratings given by the student. So we just go through the course. I'll just show you the contents here. We'll be learning about the general introduction to the civil engineering, substructure activities, superstructures, first floor to roof preparation, practical staircase from start to finish, miscellaneous topics, additional videos, finishing activities, home interest and types of homework. And if I click on this, under this you are going to, you can just check out what all things you are going to get. Just in case if you're not uh, interested to buy initially, you can enroll in my free courses, else you can just click here. You can see a preview here, right? So all these are the free videos. Through free videos, you can get an idea what exactly content you're going to learn. Anyhow, I'll show you all those things through a PPT, what you're going to learn, right? So again, if you click here, you can see everything I've explained it here, right from the total station marking, how to take the auto level reading, right? And each and everything has been covered with the fundamental because a lot of students complain that whatever is being taught in the college, uh, we don't use it in the site. So that's a completely wrong concept. Whatever we study in engineering, everything is useful in the site. But the thing is that we don't know to fill that gap, right? We don't know what is the importance of a bending moment. We don't know the importance of a shear force. Uh, right, we don't know all those things, uh, and we feel like those things we never use at the site. Uh, but that is not the case. When you come, when you enroll in my site engineering course, you'll get the essence of that engineering, what exactly we studied and what exactly we practiced. Right, so that is how this entire course is made up of. And you can come to the superstructure activities where all these courses are taken what is primary beam, what is secondary beam, right? What is the importance of shear force on the real projects? And all those things, step by step construction, I've explained it here. Importance of one way slab, two way slab, and all those things I've explained it here, right? Yeah. Now, coming to the rating part, uh, you can see it here. Uh, again, there are 2,200 ratings given, and almost 22,000 students are uh, have enrolled in all my courses. And you can see all the ratings here, okay? So I'll just go through this and just check out the uh, ratings. You can pause my video and all these things are the ratings that I've got it on the Udemy platform. Got it? Yeah. Now coming to the second course. Okay. Before that, I'll show you what exactly you're going to learn. See, uh, if I come to the site engineer course, this is how my site engineer course is going to start. 
I'll be taking you right from the basics. We'll be learning about what is cement, what is concrete, why we are going to use steel, different diameters of the bar, rebar available in the market, difference between a nominal mix and the design mix, then practical video of that. Everything will be explained with the help of a theory, then the practical application and the practical video. All the three things we are going to understand here. And, mo and moreover, we are understanding the techniques and we are understanding the concept. That is what my courses are all about. I'm not here to show you uh, all the videos or something like that or to fool you. Whatever we study in the engineering, everything has a meaning to that. And that is how the entire course is developed, right? So now coming to the first activities, that is a site clearance, then how we do the center line marking, right? And for all these things, I've shown you the video and through a video, I'm going to explain. And then how you're going to take care of working space and what is working space, how to give the auto level reading, how the excursion is done, how to understand the structural drawings, right? So all those things I've covered in my course. So I'll just scroll down through all these things. Okay, and then we'll try to see how the auto level setup will be done. All those things, I will cover it here. Then I'll go to the other part also. Again, you can see it here. Okay, yeah, see, again, all these things. And then what is the importance of starter column? I mean, starter frame, how do you put a starter frame? How do you understand the structural ring? Why a cover block is to be given? What is the importance of cover block from where it is mentioned in the codebook? See, we say cover block, we have to give 50 mm. Because someone your senior told or somebody told you, we are believing that but we should know exactly where it is given. What is the reference given to that? So if I go to the code book, you can see for footings, minimum cover shall be 50 mm. So all these things, if you know, you'll be, you'll be technically strong and you know, you don't have to be dependent on your seniors or someone when you understand the code books, right? So in this way, how to check the, how to check the column straightness about the plum, then what IS code says about the destructuring of the column, each and everything you can see how in a big construction company, we do the curing. And how do, how do you understand the, how do you understand all these uh, drawings, how to understand two legs straight up, four legs straight up, why it is given, all those things I've covered in my course. And that is how you're going to learn it. Again, from SP34, the importance of SP34, how you're going to do the detailing of a stirrup, the lateral test, everything is covered here. Got it? And also when you do the backfilling, you have to do the backfilling in layers. You cannot dump the soil at once. Again, how it is followed in the big construction company, all those things I've covered in my course. Then honeycombing, how do you take care of honeycombing, right? Everything that has been covered in the entire course. Now, uh, so in this way, this is all about the site engineering course I'm trying to explain you. Again, coming to the one-way slab. See, a lot of people don't know what exactly is one-way slab, two-way slab. Or in one-way slab itself, we have two cases, when it is supported on two edges and when it is supported on four edges, right? So that is all you can see here, case one. Similarly, I've taken case two. Then again, we should understand what the code book says that, right? All those things I've covered in my course, practical video I've shown you why, crank, why cranking of a bar has to be done. I'll tell you one thing. If you go to Google, you get a lot of wrong answers. To prove that, let me give you one thing. If I come here, you see it here. I just put it on the uh, YouTube. Uh, you can see, I, I mean, on the Google, why bent up bars are provided. So you can see the answer, bent up bars are provided to counter the shear force. The first thing is that uh, uh, we never give bent up bar to provide the shear force because if you know the fundamentals, whatever is a total shear force, we say that half of the shear force is taken by the concrete, half of the shear force is taken by the stirrup. But in slab, what happens, we don't give stirrup. And we say that if 100 kilonewton of a shear force is coming, we say that 100 kilonewton will be taken by the concrete and, and your stirrup is not going to take anything. So there's no point in giving a bent up. I mean, there's no point in taking shear force by the steel. All the shear force will be taken by the concrete itself. So all these are the fundamentals we need to know. Just we cannot you know, blindly depend on Google answers. You can say all these are very wrong answers. And if you see a lot of uh, YouTube videos and all, People say that uh, this thing, bent up bars are provided to take care of shear force. Bent up bar are never provided to take care of shear forces. Bent up bar are provided to take care of the negative bending moment. Again, bent up means the meaning of bent is you're bending something. Instead of giving a cut reinforcement, the same bar you're going to give a bent and you're going to give it to the top. So the top steel which goes, to put it in a better way. So when I say this is my bottom steel, if I give a crank in this way, I'm taking it to the top. Similarly, if I give a bend in this way, I'm taking it to the top. So near the support, what happens? You have a negative bending moment to, to make your things easier. Let me do it in this way. If you see the typical behavior, so this will be a negative bending moment. Okay, so this is your negative bending moment. We have a positive bending moment that is sagging and then we have a negative bending moment. So let me draw one line here. Yeah, got it. So this is negative, this is positive and this is negative. Since I have a negative bending moment here, I require a top steel. So that is why what I do, instead of making this bar run completely, I give a bend and I take it to the top. 
So this top bar, what I have provided, no, it will take care of a negative bending moment because there it's trying to lift up. Similarly, here you can see have a negative bending moment. So we, I'm going to bend a bar. I'm going, I'm going to take it to the top. Here we have positive bending moment. That means your slab or let us say a beam is trying to bend down. So if I want to stop the bending, I need to provide bottom steel. So that is why I'm providing a bottom steel here. Now this bent up bar will not take care of shear force. It's a totally wrong concept what we all have understood. And in this way, we cannot uh, understand the fun of engineering. And that is not how a civil engineering has to be understood. So these things we did in on structure analysis classes when we were in third sem and fourth sem. So that is the application of all these things, right? So if you understand from here, and this is a content what I've given in my courses, and no one else is going to provide you such kind of content. And even you can check it. You go to YouTube, you go anywhere. And let me find one video where people are explaining this. All of them are saying that the bent up bar is given to take care of shear force. Of, and we know that shear force is not taken by the uh, those uh, bar because we all the shear force will be taken by the concrete only. Again, you have to understand the code books and all that is about tau C max and all. All those things we have to understand. Okay, I have given a small idea. Uh, so I'm trying to tell you what exactly you need to learn. That is not engineering. Uh, what you are learning, like uh, you just take some bi-hatted answer from the Google and all, that will not help you. I've given a small uh, understanding here, but other than that, there are many things like simply supported beam because practically on the site, simply supported beam, we cannot provide and 100% fixed beam mostly, it's not possible. Again, all those concepts I've covered in my courses. So all these are the contents you're going to get in my courses for the value of like 360 to 400 rupees, got it? So this is what I'm trying to explain you. Now coming to the second course that is about the quantity estimation. Again, quickly, I'll go through this. We have a 4.5 star rating. Almost 3,500 students have taken that. You just scroll down, see the contents, everything here, and also check out the reviews here, right? So you can see all the reviews here, right? So this is the second course. Coming to the third course, this is a 45 days internship course, what I have. Uh, again, almost 500 students have taken 4.5 star rating. So it's a mix of all my seven courses, what I have. If someone is a fresher, I don't recommend him to take this course. You can take my site engineering course because this course is actually a mix of all my course. Then a drawing reading course is a very wonderful course what I've given because when you go to the site, I've seen many fresh graduates, uh, those who see, uh, we know to read the drawing. Of course, reading a drawing is not a big issue. If I uh, teach it even to a 10 standard person or a 10 standard student, even he can help me out and he can read the drawing. But understanding how the steel has come, to put it in a better way, let me go to one of the drawing. Uh, yeah. I'll go to this drawing. Yeah, so I'll go to this drawing. See, reading this drawing is not a, a you know a difficult task. Anyone can read it. And you know, if you have worked in the site, a person who is a contractor or who is a takeaway or let us say, uh, even a mason or a barbender knows how to read this drawing. But, but he doesn't know the fundamentals of engineering. He doesn't know how the steel has come. Suppose if I ask you, why is it is nine inch by 12 inch? Why it is not nine inch by 15 inch? He doesn't have an answer. Suppose if I ask him why it is 12 diameter 6 bar, why it is not uh, 10 diameter 4 bar, or why it is not a 16 diameter 8 bar, he doesn't have an answer to that. He says that uh, previously we did a structure where we used the same thing. So here also we are doing the same thing. So that is why he is called as a bar bender or let us say a contractor. But if you become an engineer, you should have an answer to all these things. Again, why it is 8 dia bar at 8 inches center to center spacing, why it is not 10 inches center to center spacing, from where I got this 8 mm bar. Again, for this you have to do the structure analysis. That means Whenever we design any structure, we do a planning for that. Then we put that on the ETAP software. Again, I've seen many students saying that we want to study software. See, software is not going to give you any knowledge. Software is just a tool to get the answer, right? That's how it is. So by learning software like STAD Pro, ETAP, you don't become a structural engineering. Structural engineering is structural engineering. Uh, if you know how to apply that, then you can make use of tools like soft, uh, I mean, ETAPs and STAD Pro, right? Again, uh, like I mentioned, uh, for all these things, we'll be having an Excel sheet in this way. So in this Excel sheet is going to give us how much steel is required and all. Again, for that, you should have a good understanding. Again, how these values are coming. All those things I've covered in my site engineering course, or you can take my ETAP course also, where I explained you about all those things, right? So this is how all the things are supposed to be understood. Because just by reading a structural drawing, you don't become an engineer. Uh, anyone can do it, like I mentioned. But you should know how the steel are coming, like how these uh, Excel sheets are designed. You can see everything here like how the steel are coming, you know, let me put for the column part. Yeah. Yeah. If I go here, you can see this is about the column here. So I need to use a 25 diameter four bar. I require 20 diameter four bar. So it all depends what is the load coming or based on that, we try to give. Again, all these things under, uh, requires a careful understanding of a subject. So all those things I've taken care of in my site engineering course and the ETAP course. 
and once you finish that course you will be in a position to understand from where all the steel are coming okay so that is why i wanted to take this i'll go back to that again again you can see the beams also all these are beam reinforcement again reading this will take me only one minute i can understand that i need to provide a 12 diameter three bar at the top and 12 diameter three bar in the bottom everyone can understand this but why exactly it's a 12 diameter three bar why haven't given a 16 diameter three bar why is it it's not a 20 diameter two bar we don't have an answer to that Again, all these things we get from the ETABs or let us say StarPro software. We get the area of steel. From the area of steel, we decide how many diameters of a bar we are supposed to give. If you understand those concepts, you become a very good engineer and you can easily rule on the side. Otherwise, there won't be a difference between you and the mason or let us say anyone on the side. So if you want to get the differentiation, then you have to enroll in all, some of my courses. Uh, at least you get a basic understanding because I've seen even people having five, seven or 10 year experience. They have a site experience, but they don't have a structural knowledge. Even if you ask them uh, the very straight answer, what they give is it's given by the structure engineer. Of course, a structure engineer is going to give you that. But as a site engineer, you should be in a position to decide or understand from where exactly all the steel are coming. What is side face reinforcement? All those things, right? So that is what is covered in my site engineering course and the ETAP course. Now coming to the other part. Yeah. So yeah so that's how it is so i can quickly i'll go through other courses of mine by this time you've got an idea but exactly i'm trying to tell so again there's a diploma concrete technology course which is also very good on the concrete technology again for that i've prepared a ppt in this way about the types of cement where to use the different types of cement okay and all those things uh, you can quickly then what is pozzolana what is the importance of pozzolana what is portland pozzolana cement uh, what are admixtures what are hydrophobic cement right each and everything i've covered in my concrete technology course other than that, quickly, I'll go through the other courses. Then again, there's a basic civil engineering course. So it's a new course which I've launched and it's a very good. I mean, hardly there are four hours of a lecture, but I'll try to add a lot of lectures and it will be more than 10 hours. This course is going to give you all the technical answers. It's a straightforward answer what I've given. Like uh, these are the questions what they mostly ask you in the interview. You can check out all these things. There are free. Uh, you can click on the preview and check out the content. And you can check out what exactly I thought it here. So it's, a, it's going to be a very wonderful course for someone who has already taken my course or someone who wants to go for the interview or clear the interview. This course is going to help you a lot, right? Now coming to the other courses, a construction basic project planning is also a very good course, but it's a basic course what I've done. Uh, again, coming to the quantity estimation, see, these are the Excel sheets, how I have prepared. Uh, and uh, in this way, I try to teach you how to do the estimations and all. So you can see it here, right? So all these are the part what I've covered and everything I taught you practically with the help of site videos, the site lectures and all. You'll be in a position to do a quantity estimation. You'll be in a position to take out the cement quantity, the sand quantity. You can see it here, how much cement is required, how much sand is required, aggregate is required. What is the total cost involved? For one complete G plus two uh, building, I've thought how to do all these things. Now in this way, again, you can see the bar bending schedule also. Again, I've taught you how to do the BBS also, uh, yeah. For the BBS, I've prepared this Excel sheet. And in this way, I taught you how to uh, do the bar bending schedule and all. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that, uh, again, this is the ETAB course. It's a basic course of mine, but it will give you a good understanding. Of course, uh, ETAB, you cannot limit yourself to ETAB. There are a lot of concepts, again, when you come to earthquake engineering and all. But basic level for dead load and live load, I've covered my course, right? Again, uh, this is another course. Yeah, that's how it is. Got it? Yeah. Now coming to the reviews also, I'll quickly show you a few of the reviews so that you get an idea to what level you are going to learn. So these are the, uh, yeah. So this is one of the review given in Hindi by one of our students. Uh, I won't, uh, yeah, just go through this review. And uh, then after that, I'll go for another. Yeah, so you can see it here, a very informative and well explained, uh, great course and great um, course. If you don't pay attention during your college online, this course gave me a lot of technical knowledge, okay? And then you can see, you can definitely strengthen your basics. So most of the reviews of what I get is five star and four star. Of course, some three star, two star rating also I get. Yeah. And then nice one explaining in civil engineering in this virtual platform is not easy. Good explanation, very helpful. Uh, my experience with this course is great. It's highly informative, interesting, and very good for the freshers. Okay, very informative, great, uh, great course. And let me add a few. Yeah. So this was one of the review given by one of my students. Uh, he got placed, okay. Uh, then these are the reviews. You, ju you just uh, read out the reviews here. He's from Nikmar Puna. Of course, he's working in a company now. Okay. So in this way, there are a lot of uh, students, those have got benefited. And my course prices are very less. I'm giving it for 360 to 400. Sometimes it will be for 400 rupees. And I give you 30 days money back ba guarantee also, if you're not happy with my course. And I'm the only person to do that. Other institutes and other people take your money. And I don't know what they do. 
I mean, there won't be any refund. Maybe quality may be good. I've never seen. But in my, I will always be there. You message me, I'll reply. If I know, I'll reply all the answers. Uh, and if you have any doubts regarding your career and all, you can always uh, get back to me. Uh, whether you purchase my course or not, that's a different thing. But if you have any doubts regarding uh, any questions and all, you can always WhatsApp to me on this number. Don't call uh, WhatsApp to this number. I'll reply. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's how it is. Other than that, uh, just going through a few of the reviews, you can check out all the reviews here. Okay. And these are the students who have taken my courses and almost 171 countries have thought of course it has gone to 174 now. And these are the courses and you can check out the reviews. Of course, you, are all, you already know most of the students. I mean, few of my students also have got placed. I don't provide any placement, but my courses do. If you take my courses, you, you reach to that position, you clear, you can uh, clear the interview. That much confidence I have on my teaching. And that is a confidence you get once you finish my courses, right? Yeah. So again, uh, other than that, uh, of course, there's one, it was almost uh, nine, 10 months back where one of my students got job. Again, people across the countries are taking, uh, having 10 year experience, 12, 22 year experience. Okay. That's how the courses are all about. And uh, I, I recommend these courses for someone who is in the, let us say first year, second year, third year, fourth year, even people having experience up to one or two years, I recommend them to take my courses. Beyond two years, it depends what exactly you want to uh, learn. But up to two year experience people, I would suggest my site engineering, quantity estimation, drawing, reading courses and all. And it's definitely going to help you out. Okay. Again, uh, he's my student since 2020. He has cracked his government exam also. And the interview questions, what they asked, were covered from most, most of the questions were covered from my courses. Of course, that's how the courses are all about. Uh, and uh, you go to Udemy, you'll be getting the price for 2,800 and all. You don't have to pay uh, so much of the amount you just get all these courses for 360 to 400. Only the thing is you have to WhatsApp me on this number. If you want the coupon, I'll be, I'll be giving you the coupon, right? And if you want to buy all my courses, uh, now there's offer going on. Uh, this will be for somewhere close to 2000 to 2500, but the prices keeps on varying. That's how it is. Again, many of them ask me for the certificate. See, certificate you get from Udemy. This is a certificate what you get. You can check out all the certificate, but again, don't take my courses just for the sake of certificate. And I have seen many students asking me that in the interview, they ask for certificate. The first thing is that none of them are interested to see your certificate. That's the first thing. No one is going to ask your certificate even for the, in the interview. They, all they want is your knowledge, how you are going to perform in the interview, what kind of knowledge you have. My one question to you all, people asking for the uh, certificate, where they are going to keep your certificate and what they're going to do with your certificate, you ask yourself why the company wants your certificate. So there are many people those who say we give ISO certified training, uh, we give ISO certificate and all. So it's a total scam what they're doing, I would say from my side. Uh, certificates are of no use. Uh, no one is going to ask you in the interview also, right? Only your engineering certificate is important. Important, even those people, even people don't ask that, but huh, that you are done an engineering, that is how it is. But again, all this certificate you get, but no one is going to ask you all those things. Again, you can check out the reviews also from here. Again, people from Bangladesh and other countries are taking the courses and you can uh, check out the reviews also. You can go to directly to Udemy and also you can uh, check out the reviews, the same reviews you are going to get. Of course, these were the glimpse of uh, lectures, what, I, what I'm going to teach you in my quantity estimation and then the site engineering course. Uh, then the, this is the, about the drawing reading course, all these are the recorded videos what I have and this is how you're going to learn, okay? So that's how it is. So uh, this, this is what I wanted to tell regarding all my courses. If you have any doubts, you can always WhatsApp to me this number, okay? Whether you have taken or not taken my course, that's a different thing. Any doubts regarding a career, uh, whatever it may be, you can always get, uh, I mean, WhatsApp me on this number. So I'll be there to help you out. So with this, I feel uh, I'm, I have to end the video here. And if you have any doubts, you can get back to me. So I wish you a wonderful future and looking forward for your participation in my courses. And that's how it is. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.